what's up everybody so today I am going to show you Tinkercad now getting into 3d software and modeling sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming on deciding what to get started with and I think Tinkercad is a great 3d software that will allow you to actually start modeling for your 3d printer without a lot of headache now obviously this channel is for adults and we only model adult car parts and other things um, tools but I want to show you how easy this is so there's no kid stuff on here so let's get into it let's take a look at Tinkercad very simple you do not have to download any files into your computer it's a website so you're just going to type in Tinkercad on your computer and this will pop up you just click it and what's nice about this is you can sign in right with your Google account now you can see the face right here or the desk I have a couple different designs that I designed here. One was for a soda pop bottle. One was for the CNC machine that we're going to do a lot of videos on this channel with. Um, but you can see the hold down clamps. I designed those and a couple other different things. I did not name these. They named themselves. But you can put the name in if you wanted to. I could change that if I needed to. All you're going to have to do is go to the site, sign in, again, use your Google, whatever you want to do, and uh, it'll sign you in automatically. But we're already signed in, so we don't need this. So let's get out of there. And what we're going to do is we are going to come down to our Tinkle, Tinkercad, Tinkercad, Tinkercad model, and you can see that we have our, our plate, okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do is... I'm from the United States. I don't use centimeters or millimeters or anything like that. Well, sometimes I do, but not, not as much as I would do with our own system. So if you want to change that, because it's going to start out with millimeters, is you're going to come down here and hit Enter Grid or Edit Grid and then hit millimeters or inches or bricks. You're going to pick millimeters or inches usually out of the two. If I want to go to millimeters, I just hit that. I'll hit Update Grid, and you can see now that everything changed. If I want to go back, hit the edit grid, and this will give you an idea of where you're at when you're trying to measure things. I'll hit update grid, and we're good. Now, on your top left here, you can see that you have a cube. There's a couple different ways to move this around. I can right-click this and then drag it, and that gives me a bunch of different views. Or I could come over to this cube here, and I can left-click top, or you see these other arrows here. I can left-click there or right click or up it's hard to see those arrows but yes you can do the bottom the back the top the sides whatever you want to do different angles so pretty cool indeed so those are two different ways you can right click and then drag or you can use the cube all right so now we're going to get into the basics here if i wanted to you can see on this left column here i can get rid of that if i wanted to to make the screen bigger or i can bring it back out you're going to want that out um, but you have a little drop down box here you have basic shapes so let's go into that. You can see these. We'll get into that here in a second. But you have, you know, your torus, your stars. So if you were making a wooden flag, you know, you could print out stars if you wanted to for that instead of using a Dremel. Uh, you can go over here, click down. You got text and numbers. Where if I wanted to add my own text, I would just left click that, drag it out, and then I could add whatever I wanted to. So if I wanted to go. S-E-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, -E, subscribe. Well, there you go. So now you can do that if you wanted to. Let's control Z, we'll get out of that. Control Z and goes back to where we need to. And you can also go down to, I don't know, the hangout space if you wanted to. So you got chairs and lamps and whatever you want to do. I don't think our audience is going to look for that. Uh, you also have assemblies and components. So We'll go here, components, you got LEDs, you got uh, coins, you got batteries, whatever you want to do. I'm going to be honest with you, not the most in-depth <laughs> um, piece of, I guess, tools and equipment on, I guess, any of these sites. I mean, they're pretty basic. So this is where you're going to pretty much design your own stuff. So let's get out of here. We're going to go up to basic shapes. Now, you're going to see here. As we mentioned, you have all these different shapes here. You got your text there, the pyramid, whatever. But we're going to left click. We're going to take this box. We're going to left click it and drag it. And I want to go, let's go um, front because I want to see where we're at. And it doesn't really matter if you're directly on the plane or not, but I like to keep mine somewhere on the plane. 
and I'm going to right click. I'm just going to drag it around. Now you can see there's a couple different grab boxes here. You got one in the corner, one there. This one right here just takes it up and down to you. If I wanted to say turn this, I could either left click and drag it like this, or I could type in 45 degree or 90 degree or zero degree or whatever I wanted. So we're just going to bring that to zero and the same thing down here. If I were to left click that, grab this, I can also bring it like so. Now, if I wanted to, I'm going to right click, drag down a little bit. I, I could take these corner boxes here and I can left click and then make this pretty much any size I wanted. I could take this one right here, bring it in and out like this. If I wanted to do this, I can bring them in and out, up and down, or I can bring it like this. So what I want to show you here is, and, and this is just a basic how to. So we got our square and it's not perfect. We didn't rearrange it back to the 0%. It's not a big deal. I just want to give you an idea of what these things can do. So radius, you can make this into a circle if you wanted to. You can slim those down. Steps, it's not going to do much on a square or rectangle. Uh, length, you can make it longer. Width, you can make it longer if you wanted to. And then height, you can also do it that way. But what a lot of people want to do and I'm guaranteeing that you're probably not going to make a square all the time. So maybe I want a hole right here. Maybe I want a hole. Maybe I'm making a hanging bracket or something. I need a hole right in the middle here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the cylinder. You can see that there are two different shades, right? So you got your orange cylinder and then you got your transparent cylinder. Well, if I take my transparent cylinder and I left click it and I drag it, right? And I just bring it over. What I want to do is say I want to line it up in the middle. I want it directly in the middle of this square. So I'm going to select all, left click, drag. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to a line and it's going to bring up these little dots here. Now if I want to bring it right in the middle like so, I'll click this middle dot here and that lined it up. And I come over here and hit that middle dot and you can see it brought it over and now I'm directly in the middle. But if I wanted to, I could bring this down all the way. You can see I could bring this up all the way or right in the middle and that's what we're going to do we're going to put a hole right in the middle and we're going to basically leave a punch out but it gives you a lot of different options to arrange that if you wanted to this to show you real quick i'm going to take this i'm just going to bring this up if i wanted to i can bring the cylinder over and i can bring it up and if i wanted to make one piece into two pieces or two pieces into one piece I could take that and do that and it would print basically like this nub out here if I wanted to and I'll show you how to do that but we don't want to do that right now we're just making a hole so we're gonna delete that we're gonna bring that back down or I could have hit control Z it doesn't really matter and I want that to go the whole way through so we'll just bring that down and now what I'm gonna do is I am going to because that's transparent that's saying hole okay that transparent is a hole so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna drag that and you see this little thing right here? This is saying group. So if I group those together, you can see what happens. The transparency, the cylinder that we had completely disappears and it leaves us a hole inside of that square, just where we wanted it. Now, if I were to take this box and do the same thing, maybe I wanted, I don't know, a square punch out. What I would do, take this, a left click, drag, and then hit group. And now I got a square. So that is how you're putting the holes inside of your other materials or your squares or doing whatever you need to do. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to hit control Z and I'm going to get rid of this. And you might be saying, okay, well, I want a square and I can just delete, left click, delete. I want this with maybe a round sphere on top, right? So I'm just left clicking and dragging this. So I'm going to bring this up. And what's cool about this sphere, and I'll show you here. So you can see it's solid steps. We can make this a little smoother if we wanted to. We can make it a cube if we wanted to somewhat. We could do different designs on it, stretch it out, do whatever we needed to, make it very flat. But say I wanted this round sphere on on this we're gonna take this and drag it down maybe I wanted it just like that maybe I want to make a golf ball holder right if I wanted to I could just do what we did we can hit hole right we could turn that into a hole and then do this check this out and then like that 
right? And you got your golf ball holder, but we're not going to do that. We're going to make this one piece. So instead of hitting what we just did, we're going to left click, we're going to drag. And now you can see it'll say group. So when you group them together, let's, let's uh, line these out here first. We'll go here. We'll go here. All right. Oh, they want to do that. Bring it back down. Now what we want to do is group these. So we're going to select all like we did. We'll hit group. And now this all turns into one piece. So if I click that, this will be clicked as well. And I can move these all together. And basically what's going to happen is when I print this out, that will all be one piece. If I want to ungroup, I'm going to left click, drag, and I'll come over here and hit ungroup. And then that brings it back to a single piece. And again, if I wanted to, I could adjust that. I can take this out. You gotta make sure that you just click on the one you want and then just drag that back where you want it. Maybe you wanted to make an adjustment or whatever and then you can group them all again if you wanted to. So just hit group. So that's how you do that. That's how you, that's how you would add different pieces to the puzzle. So let's do this. Let's add a nameplate. We'll take our box. If we wanted to, we'll drag it over and we'll just left click it. You can see it. Oh, it disappeared on us. So sometimes you might have to take it and just kind of drag it along and all that. But we're going to get rid of that. Control Z. We don't want that. We're going to go right here. We're going to zoom in. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a nameplate. So we're going to bring this down. And we'll just go like this. And if I wanted to, I could bring the ruler up. But what's nice about this is that you click on this here. You click on these sides and it tells you how thick it is how wide it is, how long it is, and all that. So just click on those, and it'll tell you it's two three-quarters of an inch wide. It's got that blue line outline, and then one three-quarters of an inch. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our text, click it, drag it. It's way too big. We need to make that smaller, so we're going to bring that down to where we like it. We could do different fonts if we wanted to. We can go sans, we could go, they don't give you that many options, but it's something different if you wanted to. Again, this is a basic starter program. So we'll go text, we'll bring that over and we'll line her up. So we're gonna left click it and we're gonna go align. And you can see it's already down here, right here and right there. So that puts it right in the middle. And I don't want it to sit right up on top. I want to bring this down a little bit inside that box so everything sort of molds together. Because if I put it up like this, say if I put it up like this and it's just resting on top, it, it's going to be flimsy. It's not going to hold in well and it'll probably break off pretty simple. So you got to give it some structure. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is just bring this down like so. Now, if I wanted to change the colors, you can go solid and you can change the colors to see what it's going to look like. Now it's not going to change your filament for you. You're going to have to do that all yourself. This is just a design to show you what this might look like. And if I wanted to maybe make this square, I don't know, blue, we'll go blue, different colors. You can go multicolors. You can go transparent if you wanted to. We'll go blue and let's change this to, I don't know. Let's go, um, let's go white. There you go. Text. And we'll hit, uh text right here and then we're going to change the text so we're just going to left click out of that backspace actually and we'll hit um 3d right so now what we can do we can check it out if we wanted to we can make it bigger if we wanted to whatever we wanted to do and all we have to do here is export this so if we were to go export we're going to click that right now we're going to export. You're going to want to save it as an STL file, right? If you want the laser cut, you can do this here. For 3D printing, I save it as an STL, and then you upload it into your slicer, which I'll do another video on. But you're going to save this, and you can see preparing model, downloaded, and then I can find out where it is in the folder. I just copy and paste it and bring it right into my slicer. So you know what? Let me do that here real quick. All right, so I open up the Dremel slicer, and we're using the Dremel 3D45. That's the machine that we have. So all we're going to have to do is now that we saved this as test, you see it up on top. We're just going to drag it and then drop it. And what's cool about this here is, let me zoom out here. You can see 
is the exact same size as I need it to be. Everything that we designed in the program automatically transfers over to the 3D printer. And then if I wanted to, I can come over here and scale it, make it bigger. I can flip it, rotate it. I can do whatever I needed to in the slicer like so. But that is the finished product right here, and that is what we designed in Tinkercad. Let's make sure that when you do go to add these together, you want to group them. And now you can see it is all one piece. And it's ready for slicing. Now, again, what's cool, if I wanted to make a drill bracket, which I did, instead of having a pegboard on the back, you know, you could do something like this where you come over your basic shapes, you take your box here, you slide it over, you bring her down like this. We'll slide this right here. Now if I wanted to copy this, I would just come over here, hit copy, and now it would bring a second one over here so you don't have to recreate. If I wanted to delete it, I can delete it right here. So let's do this. Let's add a nameplate. We'll take our box. If we wanted to, we'll drag it over and we'll just left click it. You can see it Oh, this appeared on us so sometimes you might have to take it and just kind of drag it along and all that but we're gonna get rid of that control Z we don't want that we're gonna go right here we're gonna zoom in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a nameplate so we're gonna bring this down and we'll just go like this and if I wanted to I could bring the ruler up but what's nice about this is that you click on this here you click on these sides and it tells you how thick it is how wide it is, how long it is, and all that. So just click on those, and it'll tell you it's two three quarters of an inch wide. It's got that blue line outline, and then one three quarters of an inch. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our text, click it, drag it. It's way too big. We need to make that smaller, so we're going to bring that down to where we like it. We could do different fonts if we wanted to. We can go sans, we could go, they don't give you that many options, but it's something different if you wanted to. Again, this is a basic starter program. So we'll go text, we'll bring that over, and we'll line her up. So we're gonna left click it, and we're gonna go align. And you can see it's already down here, right here, and right there. So that puts it right in the middle. And I don't want it to sit right up on top. I want to bring this down a little bit inside that box so everything sort of molds together. Because if I put it up like this, say if I put it up like this and it's just resting on top, it, it's going to be flimsy. It's not going to hold in well, and it'll probably break off pretty simple. So you got to give it some structure. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is just bring this down like so. Now, if I wanted to change the colors... You can go solid and you can change the colors to see what it's going to look like. Now, it's not going to change your filament for you. You're going to have to do that all yourself. This is just a design to show you what this might look like. And if I wanted to maybe make this square, I don't know, blue. We'll go blue. Different colors. You can go multicolors. You can go transparent if you wanted to. We'll go blue. And let's change this to, I don't know. Let's go, um, let's go white. There you go. Text. And we'll hit... Uh, text right here and then we're going to change the text so we're just going to left click out of that backspace actually and we'll hit um, 3D right so now what we can do we can check it out if we wanted to we can make it bigger if we wanted to whatever we wanted to do and all we have to do here is export this so if we were to go export we're going to click that right now we're going to export. You're going to want to save it as an STL file, right? If you want the laser cut, you can do this here. For 3D printing, I save it as an STL, and then you upload it into your slicer, which I'll do another video on. But you're going to save this, and you can see preparing model, downloaded, and then I can find out where it is in the folder. I just copy and paste it and bring it right into my slicer. So, you know what? Let me do that here real quick. All right, so I open up the Dremel slicer and we're using the Dremel 3D45. That's the machine that we have. So all we're gonna have to do is now that we saved this as test, you see it up on top, we're just gonna drag it and then drop it. And what's cool about this here is, let me zoom out here. You can see it's the exact same size as I need it to be. Everything that we designed in the program 
automatically transfers over to the 3D printer. And then if I wanted to, I can come over here and scale it, make it bigger. I can flip it, rotate it. I can do whatever I needed to in the slicer like so. But that is the finished product right here. And that is what we designed in Tinkercad. Let's make sure that when you do go to add these together, you want to group them. And now you can see it is all one piece and it's ready for slicing. Now, again, what's cool, if I wanted to make a drill bracket, which I did, instead of having a pegboard on the back, you know, you could do something like this where you come over your basic shapes, you take your box here, you slide it over, you bring her down like this. We'll slide this right here. Now, if I wanted to copy this, I would just come over here, hit copy, and now it would bring a second one over here so you don't have to recreate. If I wanted to delete it, I can delete it right here. If I wanted to import something, I could do that here. So I would hit this, choose a file, drop it down. It's telling you it supports different things. So the SVG, which we already saved, we could drop those right in here, redesign it. So you can actually get a model online free, drag it into the Tinkercad and then change it to whatever you want. So maybe you see a nameplate that somebody else made and you want to put your own name on there, you could bring it in, change it up yourself. So that's very nice. If I wanted to, I could come over here and change the name of my design because this will automatically save. I would just hit test and I would hit test two and that's it. So now it would save as test two. If I wanted the ruler, I would come over here, left drag it and I can bring the ruler here. But again, I don't use it all that much. You can see that it just drops it out and you can change it if you wanted to, but I, I really don't use it all that much. Now, if you wanted to go to see what's new, just click this here and it will take you to the Tinkercad Autodesk and you can go to gallery or different things, different updates that they're doing, some of the models that other people created. So this is pretty cool. I mean, they even got boats here. I mean, you can do pretty cool stuff with this. You got the car right here. You can download this car if you wanted to, bring it into there, just like I mentioned before, and then tweak it yourself. So that's very cool. A lot of cool things you can do. It's free. There's a plane right there. Just all kind of cool stuff. You know, a little more designs. There's a Jeep. It all depends on what you want to put into it. Now, if you're making parts, make a part. You know, I, I can make parts for my cars. I can make parts for my tools. I can do all kind of different things. You know, you can design a a house if you wanted to with this well, maybe not not a house but long story short you could do a lot of cool different things safety glasses uh, just all kind of stuff and then you can download them tweak them yourself so it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool software you know Baltimore uh, phone cases you can build phone cases I mean that's actually pretty simple to do so at the end of the day you know you can do a lot of cool things with this it's free and if you wanted to get into bigger and better programs such as 3d blender or you know whatever else is out there I, I would say start with this first just because it's an easy to learn system and there's really no learning curve you could flip this if you wanted to you could do all kind of different things so I hope this helps you know I hope uh, I hope you got the basic rundown of the Tinkercad here you got your plus and minus by the way just basic stuff you can zoom in you can bring it home whatever you want to do if you get a little screwed up you know by right clicking and doing that you just hit home and it'll bring you home so very simple to use I hope you like it don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these and with that we'll be back with more videos soon